Hi, welcome to Nasha's Art. This video is going to show us how to draw bush babies. These are these incredibly cute little mammals that live in trees in sub-Saharan Africa and South Africa. They're nocturnal, they're omnivores, and they're just the cutest things ever. To start drawing our bush baby, we're going to start at the top right hand side of our paper. And I'm going to start with the head and the ears. So, I'm going to do a curved line with the forehead, the top of the forehead. And just inside that line, I'm going to curve out to do the ears, which babies have really large ears. I guess they rely on their hearing because they're nocturnal. So, they don't want to be eaten by predators, so they need large ears and enormous eyes so they can keep themselves safe. Right, the other ear on the other side. Curve line out to a point. And again, you're going to curve in and stop there because we're going to now carry on the face. Actually, let's just do one bit on the other side of the ear first. All right. Now let's do kind of a fluffy line for the fluffy side of their face. Fluffy line like that and carry on the fluff and you're going to kind of come round still doing fluff. There we are. Now we've got the face as well. Now, bush babies, like I just said, have huge saucer-like eyes. So we're going to get those in now. Large saucer eyes. One there. Another large eye there. Okay. Okay, so let's now do their nose. They've got a rather long, thin nose. And there's a sort of little curved line that goes either side of the eyes, like this. Come down like that, and then the other side, curved line, come down like that. If I come down just a little bit more. Okay, now let's get that nose in. So I'm going to bring this in a little bit more. I'm going to curve around here and do a little thing coming around either side like that. Down and curved. Can you see that? Okay. Now for a bit of fluff rolls of fluff on the neck. So I'm going to go just under the ear here and again that fluffy kind of fur. I'm going to bring it round a bit and then this one I'm going to do a bit longer. It's like a bit of fluffy neck that goes into a sort of fluffy shoulder. It's a bit like that. Can you see? Okay. The next step is to do the body. So I'm going to move this up a little bit so you can see how the body goes. The body needs to be larger than the head. And I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to do a semi fluffy line. And then maybe curve down. And on the other side, just where we did that fluffy shoulder, I'm going to draw a bit of a hand holding onto a branch. So I'm just going to draw the hand coming out first. Maybe a finger. They have quite long fingers. And do these two fingers. They've got sort of bobbly bits on the end of their fingers. Probably for grip. Bit of an arm and then the last finger here. Okay, now we've got our hand. We'll draw the branch later. 
Okay, let's draw the knee. So I'm going to move this up a little bit so you can see the knee. So just the knee kind of starts inside the body. So I'm coming in like this and I'm going to curve round and down and curve in like that. All right, now I'm going to do the back of that leg, okay, because this is a, a knee and then a bit of leg and there's some more feet that we're going to do out here. So here's the back of the leg curving round. Come close to the leg bit here and now some more fingers, remember they're wider at the end. And last finger there. Okay, so that's what we've got so far. Okay, we're going to get that tail in. Nice curved tail. Join it up with the other side of the body. And then I'll show you how to do a very simple branch with a few leaves. Because Galegos are arboreal, which means that they live in trees. Okay, so let's get that tail in. We're going to go to the end of this line. Gently curve round and confidently curve down. I'll show you. So nice and confidently bring yourself round with that tail. Give it a large curl, because they're quite fl fluffy their tails, and come back round to meet the back leg. I've made it curved out because we don't want them to have an ever such a skinny weird body. All right. Okay. Now for the branch that he's holding on to. So we're going to draw part of the branch that we see behind him here. So I'm going to go from just where the curve of the back of the leg is and I'm going to go down. Okay. I'm going to leave a gap because I want to draw a leaf in the gap. I think it would be really nice to have a little bit of a leaf. So here is how to draw that leaf. I'm going to draw the leaf coming over the branch, covering part of it. So I draw a curve first. I come round the curve. And then from the top part of the curve, I'm going to draw my leaf shape. There we are. If you want, you can draw little veins on the leaf. It's up to you, really, what you want. Okay, I'm going to carry on the branch, the other side of the tail, a little bit, just to show that it's carrying on there. All right. We also now want the other side of the branch. So I'm going to go not to the end of the tail, but in a bit. Draw the other side of that branch. I just see a tiny bit here. Coming up there. I'm going to do a little lump on the branch. Can you see that? Just a wiggly lump because I want a couple more leaves. There's a little branch, lovely curved fat leaves. Maybe we could do another leaf that's disappearing behind this leaf and coming out again. I'm going to just leave that there while I draw the rest of the branch. Another blob, maybe that's where a few leaves will come out later. And let's finish this leaf off. Let's. Maybe we're just going to see a little bit of that leaf and the rest is hidden. And you can do your veins however you like doing them on leaves. Okay, now we want the rest of the branch that's coming up here. 
and we're actually going to do it just behind the Gallego's ear so coming up actually probably not quite behind his ear I'm going to make that a bit fatter let's have it coming up follow the branch through probably a little bit here and the rest There we are. The last thing I'm going to do is a couple of leaves coming in like this, which I'll show you how to draw as well. I'm going to draw a bit of a branch. This is going to be a thinner branch than the others. And I'm going to have a couple of leaves coming in. So, stem of the leaf, lovely fat curved leaf. You can draw your veins like that. And I'm going to do one more. This one is hiding a little bit behind this leaf. And again, there are the veins. It's quite a simple drawing, but just to show a Gallego's habitat, really. And the other side of the branch coming up like that. There you are. So the only last thing we need to add is just here, maybe a little bit more of a fluff roll, where the Gallego's fluff rolls between the knee and the arm and I'm just going to do like a fluffy line that comes like that maybe like that to show how fluffy it is all right the next thing would be to color it in so when you're coloring in you want to layer your color pencils one color over the other so you can build up a deep rich color it's amazing the gorgeous ready brown colour of Gallego's eyes and then you want to kind of press lightly and fuzzily you could even use your finger or a tissue to spread the colour so it looks fuzzy like fluffy fur so those are a few tips for when you're colouring when you're doing the leaves or the branches you want to use several different greens and yellows or for the branches, you'd want to use several different browns and blacks. I've even used purple in the branches. You can see at the top, just by the Gallego's head, there's a yellow tree gum, because Gallego's actually lick the tree gum off the trees as part one of their food sources. If you enjoyed this video and you haven't subscribed, please do like and subscribe. You can also follow me on Nash Henkel Art on Instagram and Facebook. If you are one of my subscribers, thank you so much. I really appreciate your support.